Right, I'm going to uh, begin uh, just by asking, what was it that uh, attracted you to this project? How did you come to be involved? I think when you read a script that genuinely surprises you, that you really can't predict what's going to happen, um, you recognize that you have something special. And so for me, I was excited not only by the story um, and the character, but just the fact that I was going to get to work with the cali caliber of people that I got the chance to work with. So there were a lot of things going for the project, and I really wanted to make sure that I did justice to the story and the character of Mary Beth Medina. So was it one of those instances where you felt almost like an audience member when you were reading the screenplay? Because there's so many sort of twists and turns in this narrative. Yeah, you know, as soon as I finished reading it the first time, I immediately went back and read it again. You know, I, I wanted to sort of go back and reconnect the dots. And, and I personally really like films like that. I like a movie that really makes you stop and think. I mean, this isn't one where you take a popcorn break. <laughs> you know, yeah. you might get lost if you do. And you mentioned also the caliber of actor that uh, you managed to work with. I mean, one in particular is J.K. Simmons, who you shared a, a couple of incredible scenes with, uh, most of the scenes actually with. Uh, what's he like to, to work with? Because he's a, he's a great guy and a great actor as well. Yeah, no, it was an incredible opportunity for me to get the chance to work with him. And I had been a fan of his for many years. And, you know, he's been working a long time, both in, in theater and television, and of course in movies. And, um, you know, really it challenges you as an actor when you're working with the best of the best because you have to really meet them at their level. So uh, I'm really grateful for that opportunity and, and we had a lot of fun. It was really easy in a lot of ways because he's such a generous actor and um, we had a lot of guidance from our director, Gavin O'Connor, so it was a great dance, the three of us. And I mean, the, the character you play, she's quite flawed, and she has a kind of murky kind of history and background. I was wondering how much uh, that kind of informs the character and how much that kind of appeals to you as an actress to take on a role that's kind of imperfect. I think, you know, everybody has flaws and everybody has a past, and specifically for Mary Beth, we see very early on what some of that is. But what's nice is, you know, from start to finish, there's this real sort of character arc. And when we get to the very end, you know, without giving too much away, it really does sort of circle back to the beginning of what we know about her. And, and her past absolutely informs the decisions that she makes, how she moves about in the world. So really it was sort of like the, the foundation of developing this character. And I mean, there's some incredible kind of big action set pieces as well in this film. They must be great fun to shoot because I guess it must kind of tap into that quite inherent kind of playful nature we have where we wouldn't want to grow up and be actors and we're all kind of standing behind doorways with our sort of finger like that. <laughs> it must be quite fun to kind of do that and then I guess get paid for it. Well, you know, it's interesting because with this movie, I have sort of more mental acrobatics. I, I do a lot of staring at the computer, so I don't get to do the, the fun action sequences in this movie. But of course, Gavin is really adept at those types of scenes. And when I finally saw, you know, what I'd only read in the script, it was really exciting for me as, as an audience member. But, you know, hopefully if we were to, to get to ever do it again, you know, maybe they'll give me some more, some more action the next time around. Of course, one thing that you and Ben Affleck obviously also share is the DC sort of universe, I guess. Did you ever sort of discuss that on set, or was that, was that kind of a different world when you're focused on the on a film like The Accountant? Yeah, I think it's more fans sort of <laughs> making those connections, which, you know, of course it's great to be part of the larger DC universe and, and have opportunities to work both in sort of a comic book genre, genre and then do something like this, which really feels different. Um, so, no, we, unfortunately, we don't sit around and, and discuss it, but I, I like the idea that it excites people. And, and what's great about this movie, I actually think, in a way, the accountant almost has sort of an origin story for, you know, the hero of the film. And, and it kind of works similarly to a comic book movie. I mean, this is a very sort of unique take on a protagonist for a movie. And so I like that he almost is like a superhero in a lot of ways, but this is a much more sort of grounded in reality uh, story, which I also really like. Brilliant. Thanks so much for your time today. Much appreciated.